Hi friends, good evening. Today it is 23rd, uh, 7, 2022 and the time is uh, 7.20. So this video is about what we discussed last week and what numbers we gave on a weekly forecast and how market respected those numbers. Okay, so let's go and see all that. So now, um, okay, so now this we go, this is actually for uh, the Friday. Uh, I gave this, I told you that I will give you expiry game changer number, expiry game changer number. And I clearly said Bank Nifty is going to blast on Friday because the expiry numbers are narrow. If the expiry numbers are narrow, then you will see a mega move in Nifty or Bank Nifty. Okay. If you see here, the expiry number is narrow, 36191. 36156. Okay, when it is narrow, when it is very small difference, it will bust. That is what it happened on Friday. Okay, so now let's go here. And uh, I have given this number before the market opens itself. I have given the number market before these are expiry uh, numbers. And I said expecting fireworks in Bank Nifty. And it happened. So now let's go to the numbers which we discussed last week and how that numbers are respected or not by the market. Okay, so this is for Nifty for 18th July to 23rd July. This is the weekly spot numbers. Okay, these are weekly spot numbers and remember this number, PR is zone from 16567 to 16611. Remember this number, 16, 6, 11, okay? And I've already marked everything in the chart. I'm going to show you, okay? So now, Bank Nifty, 34,790 buy, target up to 35,937, close above 36,022. It's a big breakout. It's a big breakout. And last week, sale number is not initiated in Bank Nifty. Sale number is not initiated in Nifty also. Okay, so now we will go to the chart and we will see how market respected these numbers. Okay, so now let's go to the chart. Okay, so now this is Nifty. Okay, buy above, buy above 16,108. Okay, and this is where the 18th started. It opened gap up. And from there it is a non-stop rally, non-stop rally till the PR is a zone which is 16,593. And that is what the high here, 15,593. If you go here, you can check this uh, very clearly. Okay, here. And came down again, went up and closed exactly at 16,111. And this is what I mentioned as a PRZ zone for the week. And this happened on Thursday, closing. Okay, and that is where it closed, exact. Bang on, okay. And again, next day market open, came down all the way, touched this number again, 16,611. That was the exact on the dot low here. If you go and see the low here, that was the on the dot low, 16,611. And this is the number which I mentioned last week. Okay. And from there, it was a good move on Friday. So it was a miracle week for us without any indicator, only numbers, only numbers, no indicator. Okay. That's how market respects these numbers. Believe me, if to write this number, I spent minimum three hours. Minimum three hours, and that's how it works like this, right? Let's go to Bank Nifty. This is Bank Nifty, okay? So the 18th started here, went up, came down. This is our entry 34,790, and from there, the target is 36023. This is above, it's a breakout, and uh, 35,737. 35,937. And here 35937, it came here 
If you can go here, I can put that line also. 35937. That is where the PR figure zone is there. 35937. That is where it is, and it is where it closed on Wednesday. Okay. Again, this was a stop loss. Once you buy above 36023, 36023, it's a breakout number for the week. Once it closes above 36023, it's a breakout number. So the breakout came and the stop loss was 34,871, which is 144 points. 144 points is the stop loss. And it came all the way, all the way near to that number and missed by three points. Okay, or seven points. From where it was a boom. And this is on 30 minutes time frame. This is on 30 minutes time frame because the rule you need to have is 30 minutes time frame for weekly forecast spot numbers okay and it was a mega move on friday as we predicted because the uh, you know weekly numbers were narrow and it went and closed somewhere here and from 36023 it has given 750 points that's why i said if it closes above 36023 for 30 minutes it's a big breakout and that is what it happened here and came down all the way, not touched our target, uh, our stop loss 35,879. And from there, it was a boom. And even on here, on, on 20th, it went up all the way, came down all the way, just fucked that stop loss. That's the beauty of it, without any indicator. Without any indicator. Right. So now let's go and see in Fortune Signals how we would have traded like this. Okay. So now in Fortune Signals to trade this, we don't need 30 minutes above. Maximum, if it is a trending market, 5 minutes is enough. And uh, if it is a non trending market, 15 minutes. Okay. So now I'm going to show this in because it was a trending market uh, last week. So I'm going to show this numbers in 5 minutes. Okay. So now let's go to Bangladesh. So this is bank nifty five minutes okay spot and on 18 this was this is where it gave up buy on 18 we gave up buy okay this is the last week starting so it came here it become genuine here 36 963 it become genuine here and from there it went up again next day gap down but this is a sale and it is a fake sale. Because any candle must close below this candle to initiate a sale. But none of the candle close below. It's a trap. It's a clear, clear trap. So again went up, came down all the way, touched the blue, went up, came down all the way, touched the blue, went up. Again it closed here. Next day gap up, went up, came down all the way, touched the blue here, touched the blue here, again fake sale. So this is not a genuine sell because none of the candle close to below the sell initiation candle, sell initiation candle. And from there again, so even though it is in red, according to us, it is green only because this is a trap set for the people. And we are able to identify the trap very, very clearly. Very, very clearly. That's how our indicator works. Okay, so now from there all the way went up and always remember when it breaks this red color. If this candle low, the next candle low is not breached. And this is where the stop loss is even for bandwidth 320 points. If this is L, if this low candle is L, you will see a phenomenal move. And that is what happened. Even if it comes here and touches the blue, the move will not be that big. The move will not be that big. If it's in green. If it breaks this red color thing, if this low is not taken, then you will see a phenomenal move. Phenomenal move. So, based on five minutes, from 34,790 to 36,920, there is no sell. And bang, okay, in five minutes, based on five minutes. Okay, let's go to Nifty. Let's go to Nifty. So again, this is in five minutes. Our number was 36, uh, 16108. 
So this is what uh, you know, 18th and it's, it is given by here on 17th itself, on 15th itself, came down all the way, respected the glue, went up. But this is a fake one. As of now, it is a fake one because none of the candle closed above this candle. And it closed above here. Yeah, it became genuine here. Yeah. It became genuine here. Yeah. So it has given a buy in five minutes in, on 15th itself, on Friday itself. Okay. And from there, it's it's taken uh, you know, gap up, went up, again here fake sell, again here fake sell. So there is no sell here, it is still in buy, went up, touch the blue, came down, touch the blue, went up, again gap up, again here uh, touch the blue, went up, and it gave a sell in between, it gave a sell in between. 325 again it's a fake sell because none of the candle closed below this sell candle so again it's a trap it's a clear trap set by the bigger guys and from there again it started moving so once this candle you know takes below this candle if this candle low is held because it, it, it went below this red color if this low is held you will see more like this it will be a phenomenal move. And again here, again here, the same condition. It broke the red, this candle low, no, no candle closed below this low of this candle. We will see move like this. And from here, it is a big money, you know, 16,611 to you know, roughly around 150 points. And this is after not five. So in five minutes, it has not given any set. In any set. And if you go to 15 minutes, The buy came here at 190. But we use five minutes. I normally trade based on five minutes. So it was a rocker. There is no sell from 16,108 to 16,719 in five minutes. Time. Okay, so that's how number worked. Okay, so now let's go to tomorrow. That is on Friday. So uh, uh, the first, this is a weekly for next week, numbers all is there, we will discuss everything uh, in the webinar and the video will be posted uh, maybe tomorrow night, okay. So now, this is the uh, pivot number I've already given, both the indices are in full grip, weakness may come only if any day candle close below the previous day candle. Till that time, there is no weakness. There is no weakness. Okay? And 28th July is the important cyclic date. So, till it holds this number, there is nothing to worry. Until Nifty holds this number on closing basis, nothing to worry. Okay? And uh, tomorrow, wait for my weekly game changer number for Monday to Friday. And I have already given this number. I have already given this number. This is for till expiry. This is still expired. And bank nifty closed well above this. And this is why I said when we get a small width, it's going to blast. It's going to blast. And nifty went up and closed little below this number. Little below this number. That's what I think. Okay. So now. And uh, Bank Nifty is closed about 200 SMA, which is a good sign, and Nifty only 100 SMA. And I don't know how the result of Reliance. On technical chart, it is looking bullish. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Okay. And based on pitchfork, both indices are at a very, very crucial stage. Very, very crucial stage. If it breaks, mega move. Okay. So let's watch this and we are going to discuss a lot about the important dates which is going to come this week, how we need to plan all that because the important dates of 26th uh, no, uh, July and for Bank Nifty we have three consecutive days. Three consecutive days and 28th is the cyclic date again. And it had a cyclic date uh, you know, on 20th. And from there you have seen a mega run. And actually your date was 15th July. And from 15th July, from there, there was a non-stop record. 
non stop. <laughs> okay. So, this is our test. And if you go to 15th July, I'll just show that to you. Uh, uh, it is your day. Uh, let's go here. 15th July. Yes. The people those who follow me, they know what is the importance of 15th July. This is the 15th of July. This is your train change date. You know how to identify this train change date. Okay? And from here, it was a mega, mega rally. In Nifty. And brand Nifty, don't even ask. It was the last time. So the simple train change date will do wonders. You don't need to know astrology. You don't need to do so many things. One day in a month, one train change date, which you know already, that is more than enough for you to trade till your life. Till your life. And every month you will get one train change date based on this strategy. That is the strategy first. How to identify this date? That is a very simple, simple, basic concept, which I can say that, you know, it's a UKG uh, kind of a stuff, but it is very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. And see the run. See the run from here uh, after 15th. If you see here, you can go back to my video, the price range. If you take here, it was roughly around 4% in Nifty. And if you go to Bank Nifty, because here the trend change date will not change because it is the same. And this was 15th. Bang on low of Bank Nifty. Bang on low of bank T. So price here, this was the 15th low where it made the low. From there, that's given 5%. More than 5%. And the stop loss is very, very limited. And that is where market made the bottom. See how beautiful it is. And uh, if you go here to my PPT, <coughs> if you go to 50, if you go to 50, I don't know where it is. This is 8th of July, sorry. This is 19th. This is 18th. Yeah, this is 15th. See, tomorrow is the total day. Major tops and bottom will form here. Major tops and bottom will form here. This is on 15th July. And this is your train change. It's not mine. And I thought you how to identify the changes. Tomorrow is the total day. This I normally I write on every day night. So tomorrow is the total day. Days the tops and bottom may for here. And from 15th, you are seeing mega, mega move. So look, everything, you know, thanks to market, we are able to understand how market works and the numbers which it will respect and touch wood by God's grace, uh, you know, it is respecting our numbers to the quota. Maybe one or two rupees in Nifty or maximum 10 points in that. Not more than that. Not more than that. Right? So thanks a lot for watching this video. Again, saying I'm not a serious investment advisor, so kindly do your homework for consumer financial advisors before taking any financial decisions. And tomorrow, the webinar is at 12.30 to 2 o'clock. Uh, you need to join my Telegram channel to get the link. Uh, the Telegram channel link will be posted in this video uh, in the description box. You can definitely join in case if you want to learn something new. And tomorrow, we are going to discuss one important uh, number in which how stocks will rotate within that number. This is a new concept, which I'm going to give it to you free. So let's, let's enjoy it and see you tomorrow. Uh, thanks a lot. And I try to cover a weekly forecast video from TM Bank separately. And uh, Dow Jones, everything was at a very, very crucial stage. So we'll try to cover uh, Dow Jones, uh, you know, uh, NASDAQ and S&P 2 in a separate video. Thanks a lot. See you soon in the next video. Bye.